And so I've done a ton of research looking at the autonomy in the cars, humans in the car. This is a, a very funny, fun, hard study that we ran while I was at Duke that looked at boredom. So we had people sitting in a simulator for four hours and then they drove for four hours. It's very boring in a simulator. They didn't drive, you know, the, the system was on its ACC system. And then we watched what people would do. We'd let them bring their cell phones in there if they would normally bring them into their car. Uh, about two and a half hours into it, a moose walked across the road. It ambled. It did not dart. I think out of 30 something uh, subjects, all but one hit it. And this is him, his reaction. You can see, and I love, cause he brings up his cell phone cause he was holding it low, you know, he's the low texter. So he brings it up and you can see his reaction. This was uh, funded actually by Google, this study before it became Waymo. So indeed I, of many researchers, a group of researchers help Waymo come to the conclusion that L3 was probably not a good idea. This, plus all the other research I've been doing over the years, has made me very wary of putting humans in cars with a lot of automation. I, we don't have time here for me to go into in planes, but that's also true in planes. 